Hello, in this video I would like to show you how you can prevent DNS leaks when connecting to your WireGuard server from Linux. In case your network settings are configured incorrectly, not all of the traffic is routed through the WireGuard VPN, VPN tunnel. To show you that, I'm going to connect to my WireGuard server using the WG Quick tool. Now the connection is established and I'm going to open up Wireshark which is a network analysis program. Starting to record everything and now I'm going to ping wikipedia.org. I could also ping some other page but I take this one for now. Right, that's enough. Going to stop it to record then and then I can search Wikipedia in the packet details or in the packet bytes. Hit find and as you can see Wikipedia appears here as a DNS request. So that is called a DNS leak. And now I will show you how you can prevent that. For that we are going to open up the config file at C, network manager, network manager.conf. In my case, that's an empty file. In your case, there also might be some comments. And now you have to enter the following a square bracket, then main, and a closed square bracket, then hit enter, then type DNS equals none. In nano hit Control and O to save it and Control and X to exit. Now you have to restart the network manager service by running sudo systemctl network uh, restart network manager. Hit enter and your Wi-Fi will shortly disconnect. Then it should reconnect automatically. Um, I will connect to another one here. After having restarted my VPN I will do the same test again by restarting the recording in Wireshark and again pinging wikipedia.org Alright Stop capturing then I again look for Wikipedia and now you can see that Wireshark can't find uh, Wikipedia anymore and um, by that you have prevented the DNS leak. But if you want to connect to a public Wi-Fi with those network settings in networkmanager.conf you might get some problems because the, um, because the login page cannot be found anymore. So in that case you can open up um, the network manager conf again and either delete those two lines or put a hashtag in front of them. Saving it and then again restarting the network manager. Again, your Wi-Fi will shortly disconnect, but then it should reconnect automatically. And then you also should be able to um, connect to public Wi-Fi's again. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you, and if so, I would be glad if you give me a thumbs up. Bye bye.